My name is Brian Heimer. I'm a solutions architect with Dell. I focus on our compliance solutions, of which Change Auditor is one. I wanted to show you how to do a little more specific search than normal, uh, something that may uh, spark some creativity for those of you that are trying to get a little bit more out of Change Auditor. So let's take a look at some searches here. I think you all know that there's several types of searches that you can do. I, for example, have this group membership changes search that I built over here. There's also a bunch of pre-built searches. Uh, I had a customer come to me recently and said, listen, we want to know when somebody removes the domain admins group from the local administrators group on a member server. Now, you might not even know that you can do that, um, that you can run Change Auditor on a member server, but you can. And it can do things like watch local group memberships and, you know, SAM account changes, as well as a few other things on member servers. Let me show you how you do this particular search. So I'll just click the new button here and make a new search and we'll give it a good name. Something like that. That looks pretty good. We'll save that so the name appears up here. And then we'll just go to our what criteria. And what is always, you know, what happened. So in this case, we're dealing with local groups. So I'll hit my add button here. And since I, I don't want to go scrolling through this, I can simply type uh, local group. And that'll weed down all the events that we have that are available. Here's the one that I want. And you notice as soon as I highlighted that, I get this where criteria, this restriction criteria. The previous value on a remove would be the uh, group name or the account name that was removed. So here, I'll put domain admins. Okay, and I've got this little box checked. I'll go ahead and add this. And you can see here it tells me that it's going to do that parameter with a restriction of the from value containing domain admins. That's exactly what I want, so I'll click OK. And uh, we'll go ahead and run this and see how it looks. Okay, it created my search and you notice I got three results back. So let's just take a look at the detail here. I'll double click on the first event. And here, this is the domain admins group, which is what I want, but it's being removed from a different local account group, the remote desktop users, and that's not what I want. Uh, my next event here, oh, that's backup operators. So that's not correct. This last one is what I want. So how do I get specific in this event so that I only show when it gets removed from the local administrators group? Let me show you that. So I'll come back here to my search properties. And in my what criteria, I'm going to add another entity. So I've got my event class entity where I've got the event that I wanted with a restriction. Now I'm going to use this little drop down next to the add button. I'm going to go into subsystem. Here we go. And we're going to look for a local account. Okay, this isn't an Active Directory account. This is a local account that we're looking for. And we'll be very specific, so we'll pick this object, and we'll pick the administrators group. You can see that line right there. So I'll add that as criteria. And you'll see down below here, what I end up with is two different entities in my what criteria. One for domain admins being um, removed from a local group, and another for that local group being the administrators. So I'll save that and I'll run it. And you can see now I get back exactly the result that I expected. Uh, the other two results are not there. And that's how you do it. For more information about Change Auditor for Active Directory and to download a free trial version of the product, visit quest.com/changeauditor for Active Directory. Thanks for watching.